These are one of the very first in studio guests we ever had back in the day, Chris Brock. They when guest you say? hosted the show. That's they have right. done it all here. That's actually. right. It it's is fun. a pleasure to have Jason and Randy Sklar back here Thank on the Rich you. Eisen show. Love it. Um, and uh, and your new venture, uh, Poop Talk. Yes, documentary in, about poop in theaters nationwide. Mm -hmm. um, released last Friday. Do I say drop? Did, did, did you could say drop. It, did drop. <laughs> it, it <laughs> dropped. It made a splash. We're happy about it. Uh, Available on video on demand worldwide as well. Yes. iTunes, Amazon, wherever you get. So, stuff. what do we want to talk about first, sports or poop? Let's get poop out of the way because yeah. sure. that's always a great feeling to just get once it out you of the get way. it out of the way, <laughs> and you get the release so much better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were like, this is a discussion Come that on. is inside of us and that we had to let go of. Yes, that's we right. Had had everyone, not to get political, but everyone releases their own memo. Just get it out there without redaction. Hashtag, 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 hashtag me, hashtag me poo. All right, so yes, me, it's part of the me poo movement. So walk me through the uh, the concept of deciding. You know what? We need to sit down a bunch <laughs> of celebrities and ask them about pooping. Well, I don't know if I'd say celebrity. Comedians, I mean, you know this because you did comedy, Rich. That yes. comedians are amateur anthropologists. We study human behavior. That's we say true. this is what's funny about it, and then we reflect it back to the audience with a take and with some comedy mixed in. So we had. Pete Holmes, who's a comedian who's fantastic, star of Crashing, yes. Kamel Nanjiani, uh, Eric Stone Street, all these people, different attitudes towards pooping represented. And our friend came to us originally. We didn't have this idea. This wasn't the movie we set out to make no. when we started we did in not Hollywood. Set out to so it, it uh, morphed. It yes. became. Yes. It, 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 morphed. it gestated inside it of us, brewed, and then it became and something. And then it finally came what it was. Yes. No, but he, someone came, our buddy Eric, uh, our buddy Aaron Feldman, who uh, directed the film, said, he came to us and said, I want to make a movie about the history of poop. Will you guys help me make it? And we said, no. no. <laughs> uh, Absolutely not. Why would we do that? That's the most ridiculous. But then we said, well, what if we could make a movie with our funny friends? Yes. Make it an honest, open discussion about poop, which really becomes a story about a taboo subject that something we all do, but we don't talk about. We pretend we don't do it. Yes. And this Tinder Facebook profile picture where we are all sort of becoming our avatar, which is a high angle selfie yes. with like an amazing filter put on it. We don't want to let the world know that we sit down and squat it out, mm -hmm. but everybody does. And to me, that is the moment when we're oh, most, the most like, human, the most human that we are. And what Buckeyes we, fans, Wolverines fans, everybody all do does it the it. same way. We can all come, we can come together. together on this issue. Yes, but uh, Buckeyes fans call it the pooping. They yeah, they do the call pooping. it the pooping. And when yeah. they poop, it's in the shape the, of a horseshoe. Yes. All right, so hey now. <laughs> in a hey way, now. that's we, actually healthy. That's is, very healthy. We all do poop on that's, a horseshoe. That's it. We do. We do. But uh, it was fascinating to do, really fun to do. We kind of learned so much about our friends, friends that we've known for 20 years, 10 yes. years. You're talking about this stuff with them that you would never normally talk about, and suddenly you're learning stuff about them that we would never know. And so it was very revealing and 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 just a lot of fun to do. We made it on a shoestring budget, released in theaters. We went to the theater in, in Santa Monica and watched it. For opening night, the opening thing, we did a QA and a afterwards. No, and so every, yes. Oh, yeah. It was, you know, yes. sitting, with, <laughs> sitting with the auteurs. A and a Yes. Q&A. No, like, sitting on toilets as we answered questions. What's, yes. to be, what's to be asked and answered here? I mean, People was, asked was, us, like, don't we all just stipulate about I mean, listen, point? it was... It was actually really cool that that no one in the, th the all the people in the theater were strangers. So okay. people came to this movie and it wasn't friends and family. It was kind of cool. I, I mean, look, that. I know you have like, stories. Look, you we all do. I mean, I'll never. Hear, we just showed a clip to our uh, television audience. Uh, Randy and Jason Sklar here, uh, the auteurs, if you will. Is that the proper way? Or I mean, executive producers. Or the, yeah. Hold on a minute. The driving force. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Poop talk. See, he's with it. Yeah, he's on it. On. You're, you're on I'm it. With you're it. on it. Yes. The, the, <laughs> that we just showed a clip of Eric Stone Street basically saying, because he's a public figure. Totally. He will not public poop. It is so embarrassing. Because the, and people will be able to know. There's the guy from been Modern in, Family. That he's been, it, if he goes to the men's room and he's back in 60 seconds, we all know what he just did. That's if it's right. 10 minutes. We, you know, we did a great run with him at the in the movie where he, we made him list all the stadiums he hasn't pooped at. He so has not. Just, yeah. Yes. So he keeps coming back. He's like, I've never pooped at, uh, never pooped at Qualcomm, never pooped at Levi's Field. <laughs> I know I've never pooped in Staples Center. <laughs> He's like, I worked in college at Bramlage at, uh, at Kansas State. State. I never pooped at Bramlage. <laughs> it was just great. He won't do it. Won't I mean, I it. wouldn't do it either. Why, I mean, why not? What do you mean? Why not? So I, people are, I will go anywhere. I'm with him. When you have to go, yep. so you yeah, have like to go. Who has yep. that sort of control is what you're saying. Yeah, right. That's, yeah. That, I mean, wow. If Plus, you had no, no, to go, no. you would go. Here's, 
Here's the thing, mm -hmm. okay? And I think everybody Portage who's listening to this show and watching it will understand. A men's room is so much more different than a, a woman's oh, room. Yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay? I mean, it's not like I've been to, you know, and I, 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 hold on. There are times when my four-year-old daughter's got to go. Yeah, and I knock her. the door out, and I'm like, is anybody in here? And right. I take her in there, and I walk in. And it's, it's gorgeous. Just, it's, it, there's it's artwork. Steam. Oh, my God. There's artwork. It smells good. And, artwork. And, 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 yeah, there's artwork. Like there's, there are actual yeah, towels. I mean, it's just like, it, yeah. it is like that Seinfeld episode where, where Costanza, Costanza no walks bathroom. in. No, no, where Costanza walks in, and, and he had, just, the models are all over the place. Yeah, right? it opens and up. It just, it's incredible. Yeah. Us, we men are just, we're animals. We're animals. monkeys. It's just animals. And so I, I will not. Guys will, will not lift a seat when they've got to go one. It's terrible. It's yes. awful. It so when you've got to no go regard. two, but what if you have? Like, the hell are you? What, what if you, you clean, eight, it? clean it? Mexican and you got to, and it goes right through you. What do you do? You just eat Mexican close to home. Yeah, I guess right. Rich just all, plans out where uh, it's going to be. All I know <sighs> is that. Uh, I, should I share it completely? Yes, yeah, please. please. Yeah. That's what this movie's about, being open and honest. Should I share completely? Yes, please. Are you yeah, kidding me? This is what's all about. Share one time mm -hmm. at a sporting event mm -hmm. in Ooh. my life. My the, life. The Super Bowl. One time. The Pooper Bowl. The 1999 all-star game in Fenway Park. Oh, it's <laughs> and those bathrooms are like haunted by the ghosts of old. Carl Yastrzemski took some the monster worst. dumps there. The, the worst. I yeah. mean, I still smell Johnny Pesky's big, uh -huh. That's, big moment. They called it the Pesky Pole for a reason. <laughs> Mo Vaughn, that was the Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn, Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn has you wrecked Mo many Vaughn a wrecked toilet. It. Big Poppy, uh, he just destroyed. I mean, come on. <laughs> Although the, and there's uh, the Sklar brothers here on the Rich Eisen show. This is also too. When I I'll, I don't care because we're on in Redding, California too. Yeah, we are. All right. My first ever news director in in, in the TV business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would go on. So in Redding, California, I would have to do my own makeup. Of course, of course. I mean, market you do it all. Okay, you put every market, hat on. Market one thirty. Mm -hmm. You'd have to so. You know, I had like this this compact or whatever you want to call it, and I'd mm -hmm. just dab it because. Sure. And I, but I had that was just back when I had a flowing mane. Yeah, so you had a lot of hair back okay, then. Okay. I did. Oh, please. So I didn't have to do as nearly as much as, much. as it's today. It's not going all the way back here. No, that's exactly. Okay. So uh, I would go. I'd be on the air at five o'clock. I'd do the five o'clock sports. So it'd be five. I'd be my hit would be pretty much five twenty mm -hmm. every day, yes. like clockwork. Right. So I would go in around five ten, and I'd I'd go in and I'd. You know, I do touch up. a little touch up. Yeah. In the one men's room in the entire small <laughs> spot of KRCR TV, the news director, who also was the on air uh, host of the 5 30 show, mm -hmm. had his own routine. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he would. That would, on occasion, uh, and by on occasion, I mean every freaking day. Wow. <laughs> happened like clockwork. Because I'm sure regularity is something you guys talk about. Of course, absolutely. Okay. Of course, absolutely. So he would he would go every day into the men's room ten minutes before I would, and just and but and 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 wreck the place. Yep. He but would take the Browns to the Super Bowl. He would every single year, <laughs> every <laughs> single day, and there'd be the dog pound <laughs> would be. <laughs> Would be, <laughs> it would be barking, barking, uh, barking. barking is <laughs> an understatement. And you but know who let the but, dogs out. But right. here, here is here is the kicker. Mm -hmm. here's the, if you will, cherry on top. There sure. we go. He would walk up to the sports desk. There was one desk. Me with my colleague mm -hmm. Mike Mangus, mm -hmm. a, a sweetheart of a man who would be the number one guy, and he would go unabashedly searching for the sports section. Yeah. There it is. That's his tell. That's was, his tell. That's unabashed. What I'm he's looking do. for the sports section. Why do you need to read that now? And because he was my boss, I didn't one time call him out. Nope. Uh, one time I actually saw him walking over, <laughs> and I just rolled my eyes without him seeing, and I just... Here it is. The there it is. There you go. Oh. Take it. Go ahead, Check sir. Check the scores. Jeez. Back at a time when people read the sports, sports section, section of newspapers. Back at that time when they did that. And you did your part to make sure that that became extinct. <laughs> but look at this movie. It made you think of that made guy in that guy. moment. It made you think of this it moment. Does. It made you think about your, your beginnings, your humble beginnings My humble in this world. roots. Very or, fast. It's a human movie. The fact that I would be able to, you know, I guess in a way that raise the level of difficulty to my first ever sports cast that made everything else that much easier. If you have to go through the gauntlet 
Yes. Think of what the guys from Shawshank Redemption <laughs> had to climb through <laughs> to get to freedom. Andy, that's what you did. had to do. <laughs> Essentially, figuratively had to do that every day you handed that sports section. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's take a 60-second break. We'll talk sports. Um, Jason, you were kind enough. You wore a maze today. I did, my man. You wore a maze. Rep, represent. Gotta represent it. You wore a maze. Mm -hmm. I did. Then you wore kind of a little bit of blue. I didn't want to be too on the nose. There's okay. a little bit of blue in here. All right. The uh, the uh, Barber Brothers of Poop. <laughs> here I want to be Rhonda. I want to <laughs> be Tiki. <laughs> we're back with more on the Rich Eisen Show in 60 seconds. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> <laughs> the docu-comedy Poop Talk. Randy and Jason Sklar at Sklar Brothers on Twitter here on the Rich Eisen Show. You guys are just too... <laughs> Come on, it's, it's, it's the Brown left. Panther. We said it, and that's what we want people to go see. The shape of what, toilet water. The shape of toilet water. Or lady we, turd. I would have said lady turd. Lady that's turd. My, that's my all guess. of it works. We're all sort of building off the Oscar buzz. <laughs> We have an Oscar nominated. Now uh, you're making me think. It? Now you're making me think of different ways to say it, the Oscar nominated films. Get out would just be get the out, same, right? Get it out. Get it out. Okay. Get it out. Get it out. There's another <laughs> one. Work just always. Get yeah. Out. In the water. There are moments where you shout down to the toilet. Get, get out. out. Oh my god. <laughs> the darkest tower. The darkest hour. Darkest hour. Darkest hour is fantastic too. Darkest, darkest hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Uh so you Harbaugh reached out to you to host Signing with the Stars in 2017, right? Yes. yes, we did that and that was really fun. I mean, it's crazy to write comedy for that event cuz we came up and did some jokes cuz we it was at Chrysler Arena. Arena. Right. And so there we were in Chrysler and we remembered back to when we were there post you being there. Yes. Uh we camped out when the Fab Five were there. We camped. It was the first year that they changed the ticket situation where you got a card and you could sit wherever you wanted as long as you, you got there first. You were just in first. line early, so we camped out. And when did you graduate, Michigan? 94. 94. 94. Okay. So we camped out and we... This is 92 for the Duke game. Duke, Michigan. Saw that amazing Duke game that was in the documentary yep. and everything, and our joke was, you wrote the joke. Yeah, uh, we, I remember when we were back there and camping out for the Duke game, we walked into the Chrysler Arena and a two-year-old Grayson Allen tried to trip us. <laughs> that was such a great moment. That was a joke. Okay. That was a great joke. Solid joke. And then someone was like, and then they kind of made an oh, and we're like, did that go too far? Did that cross the line? Because actually there is a referee in Columbus who thinks it was a few inches behind. And it didn't cross the line. Yeah. And then uh, I'd right. say an hour and 20 minutes later, we had so many D-backs who joined the couch. It was a lot of, there were a lot of D-backs who we recruited yes. that I didn't realize that they had all moved over to the end of the couch. And I went to sit down in front of 6,000 people. No fell couch behind couch. me. <laughs> Tripped and fell. Goes to Grayson Allen. Trip me. The ghost of Grace Allen me. tried to trip Jason. You don't again. make jokes about that guy. About you him. do not joke about him. <laughs> it was fantastic, though. It was that really had funny. to be. And Harbaugh, did, did you occasionally look over to see if Harbaugh Harbaugh was, was laughing at your jokes? He was or? laughing. And he I think, was. and afterwards, he was, really cool. he was super cool. Afterwards, I asked him, I was like, you know, just. So we're walking up through the tunnel of Chrysler to get to the. The press room. The press room where he's right. about to give the press conference after what just happened. And I said, hey, man, how's your son? He just had a baby. I was, or yeah. It was pretty recent. I was like, hey, he's like, oh, I got to take out the phone and show me the pictures. And I said, jokingly, I said, I heard when you, when the baby was being born, you asked to actually deliver the baby. And then you checked the defense and you handed it off to Eddie McDoom on a jet sweep. He thought that was the funniest thing I've ever said, and then he used it in the press conference. He's like, can I use that? We're like, sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, good. And he was great. He was such a nice guy. Uh, we, we talked about this before. It's going to be an interesting year in college football, certainly if, if all those guys from Ole Miss – are able to, to play right, right away. And just play right away. It'll, it'll think change the landscape a little bit. Well, yeah, certainly the quarterback. Yeah. I mean, the Patterson. Big Ten, how how good is the Big Ten East? Is that a crazy? It's insane. Well, listen, you know that. Michigan's the only school that has to play Michigan State, Ohio State, Penn State every year, and Wisconsin almost every year. And Wisconsin, not, I, Iowa, I can tell you right now. they got to go to Iowa, yeah. and that's always, that's always dicey. That's always dicey because they're just, there's like so much energy in there. They're right underneath the hospital. you got to look right up, and everyone salutes the Kids. It's, it's like the best moment in I all of know. football. It's like, how do you beat that team after they do something so beautiful like that? It's very difficult. I know. I get different. asked all the time, well, what do you think is going to happen with Harbaugh? What do you think? What do you... I'm like, he's not going anywhere. I don't no. think he's going anywhere because I don't think he wants to go anywhere. I don't think so either. And, and truth be told, if they have a good season, 
then, I mean, look, this is a great weekend for Michigan sports in that the basketball team beat Ohio State, yes. the hockey team beat a number one Notre Dame team to sort of and secure hey, their sort of position. And also yesterday, Brockman, uh, Michigan uh, won the 2013 NCAA championship. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was that happened, congratu right? Congratulations, Yeah, guys. I mean. Yeah. Louisville vacated. Now, would yes. you, speaking of poop talk, mm -hmm. um, now, would, would, would you raise a banner? No. No way. I can't. You can't race. I don't think you can. That. I'd do it. You would? You would? What the would you really? I mean, maybe. But what the hell? Has, have, has Louisville removed the banner yet? They haven't removed uh, it I yet. I don't think it's been removed. Yeah. I think Louisville should remove the banner, cut it up, and make it tablecloths for the Italian restaurant where Rick Pitino <laughs> had sex with that woman for 15 <laughs> seconds. Just use, make it a tablecloth. Add some white, then it's a little white yeah, and red white check. Red, white check, and you're good to go. Oh, okay, what about his go. tattoo? Uh, he still uh, has the yeah. tattoo. By the way, that's, yeah. that's the worst Billy Joel song I've ever heard that you yeah, just said. The Italian, right restaurant. Italian restaurant. Yeah, scenes uh, from an Italian are restaurant. Are you watching the Olympics? Are you I, Are you knee deep into it like we are? I know these guys are. What, yeah, uh, what, what's, what's lasted longer from these Olympics? The curling competition or Ronnie Cycli's Syracuse basketball career? Uh, I don't know. Is Ronnie Cycli so... still a DJ on Greek cruises? I think... <laughs> What's happening? He is. I think he is. <laughs> he is. Because to me, usually DJ a sport, short shorts. Usually a sport in the Olympics, it starts one day yep. and then four or five days later, it's done. Done. But they, curling they wrap is. It up. But I love they stops, they haven't. I love curling so much because it's quiet in the arena. I love mixed pair. We love mixed pairs curling because first of all, they're all engaged or married. Because how could another individual break the bond between two cur a curling? But I couple? would just love to see, and I'm waiting to see like a, a mixed pair <laughs> curling team that's on thin curling ice in their marriage. Oh, and like because, because it's oh, inherently a domestic dispute because someone's sweeping and doing someone's got to cast the stone and the other one's got to yell at him. Sweep, honey. <laughs> I'm sweeping. Sweep. What does it look like I'm doing? Just, uh, Obviously, I'm uh, sweeping. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you using a tone with me? Why don't you read the email? I read. You I, get, we get tons of emails I from the preschool, and you don't read any emails of them. I want to. I'm sweeping right now. I know you're the one who's going to sign up for the parent teacher. Why don't conference you do the sweeping? Like you sweep when my mother comes in town, and you do, and well, you ignore the house her. Is and very you clean. Sweep. The house is you very clean. Sweep in the corner. The house is, are the stones in the back of the house. Why don't you ask? play with my stones every All once right, in a while? Hang That's on what a I want to know. Hang on a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, curling, curling, mixed pairs, mixed curling, and then somebody drops the hammer at the very end, and it's all over. Divorce attorney comes. And drops the hammer Just and that's divorces the them on the spot. I would watch that. I would watch I would that watch so that much that because you can hear everything they're saying to each other. It's yeah. my favorite. Thing. I would absolutely watch. And then just the all day the, long. The cross country skiing is incredible. Cross country skiing. Like, how about the guy who fell yeah, and then came, came back, back in the cross country right. thing? He fell and you're like, this guy's done, and he comes back and wins the whole thing. I, that was. I didn't think I'd be that excited about watching cross country. Or the skiing. snowboarding American snowboarder who did the giant slalom skiing. The look on her face when she realized on her second run, yeah. she wasn't even in the top 15, and then she won right. by like a hundredth of a second, and she just stood there like, I cannot believe I just did that. Amazing. Yeah, I've, I've been I've been into it. It's been cool. Oh. I love watching with the kids, too. I know you guys I mean, I kind of wish too. Fergie would sing every national <laughs> Am I the only one who loved that you version did. of it? Yes, you are. I you thought are. it was just yeah. jazzy good. I was like, <laughs> I think, here's my, pro this is my theory about it. Yes. Fergie. Because they sang this, the Black Eyed Peas sang the song where they said Mazel Tov. Yes. I'm sure they're getting a ton of rich Jewish families from the Miami book area. Welcome for the bat mitzvah. for the bat mitzvah. She has gotten into that mode of just playing tons of bar and bat mitzvahs. Is that she it? She now is just in this jazzy mode. Like, what have we seen from the Black Eyed Peas recently? Not a, Not a lot. She's on the bar mitzvah circuit. You got to jazz it up. And that's what she's been doing. And that's what she tried. Is I can't that, blame her. Is that why Team LeBron was introduced with a candle lighting <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Is that why? He said, uh, he said when we, we uh, LeBron stepped up to the mic and said, when you that's were old, old when we were young, young, we used to play, but now you, you live, live so far away. away. Bubby and Zadie come up and light the, <laughs> the next candle. Goran Dragic, today you are a man. <laughs> By the way, Susie and I, my wife and I, sat behind Goran Dragic's parents. What? Phenomenal. Who could barely say two words in English. And were they except, so happy. Except I did I did help them out because two people during the uh, introduction of the players yeah. stood up in front of them. And Susie and I down in front of them. You down in front of them. And the Dragic is turned to us and that's they they might not have understood the language. Yeah. Nonverbal communication. But it's international that sit the hell down. Sit, sit down. down in front and but you when, got little Dragic approval. When Dragic <laughs> made it a seven point uh LeBron team LeBron lead with five minutes to go in the first quarter. 
they were up. They were up. They, they were had up. to be up. They were excited. They were and then we down in front of them. I, it's, yes. What a great <laughs> idea. You down in front of them. <laughs> you know, down in front of them. <laughs> that's Sit sense. down, Drogiches. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, at Sklar Brothers on Twitter. Uh, check out Poop Talk, everybody, uh, in theaters nationwide and also available worldwide on video on demand. Yep. Thanks, guys. Th- thank, thank you so much for having us. Anytime. Come back. What, what the hell else am I not promoting? Your, uh, your podcast. Podcasts? Podcast View from the Cheap Seats, which we'll have you back on again. Yeah. That's our sports one. And Very Dumb good. People Town. There you go. Okay. Dumb well, People great. Town. Great. You know, you, I'm going to speak to my wife. I think talking poop talk on my podcast with my wife would be killer. Well, uh, it'd be why it would be a dicey. Di- she dicey. Would, she, I know she would love it. She would open <laughs> she up. Would open up. I, she would open up. Oh. I think she would. I know your wife. Oh. I think you should oh, have I, her Is on. that the wrong term? Talk open up. Poop. Very I much so. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. No, no sorry. I share. She would share. <laughs> Let no it fly. Problem. Let it rip. I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> The shape of toilet water. There Come on. Go. I like it. Uh, poop talk. <laughs> check it out. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.